Hello, and uh, welcome to Classroom Power Ups. I have been uh, out of touch for a little bit. It's been kind of crazy. We've had uh, finals week, but uh, there's something I've been playing around with that I'm really excited about, and I don't have it finished. And uh, we're going to throw this in my half baked ideas um, section. So uh, I found this really cool fantasy map generator, and my theme deals with superheroes, but um, I think then my next iteration of this, my superheroes are going to get transported back uh, to a, a different world. You see this sometimes happen in uh, superhero comics. Uh, Superman and the Justice League is sent to some foreign planet and they have to deal with that. So I'm thinking that we're going to work it in that way. But uh, this fantasy map generator, uh, Asgar's github.io, it's going to show you how it worked, but I think my district actually started blocking it today. Uh, but what's really cool about this is you have so many tools you can play around with. Um, and it looks really neat and you can have uh, height maps which you can show heights and you know sometimes dragons live in mountains uh, you can put little grid on here which uh, if you can zoom in here you can see that it can break it down by um, little land parcels which is kind of neat you can turn that off if you want uh, there's an overlay so you can have like hexagon or uh, I believe even squares uh, you can overlay it that way you can zoom in and out. It's a huge map that uh, is very detailed. Uh, lots of stuff that you can play around with here. Different styles. You can um, change all of this stuff here. Uh, different options. If you don't want uh, uh, one island like this, you can have uh, volcanoes. You can have uh, lowland islands, which uh, doesn't have as much height in it. Uh, continents, which is one, uh, which is several kind of big chunks of land. Uh, archipelagos, which are smaller islands. Uh, mainland, which is just one big chunk of territory. All these really, really neat uh, tools you can play around with. You can have different numbers of states on the map. I have five here. One, two, three. I guess I have four here. I thought I had five. I guess this is five over here. Uh, you can change the names of these. This is going to be used for my standard four, which is all about the Gilded Age. So you have the populous lands, uh, the native lands, uh, the United Federation of Labor, trying to get a little creative here. Um, but what I really wanted to do with this is use it as a playable map. And I'm thinking something like a, a Super Mario Brothers map or, um, in my mind, something like the Elder, Rolls, uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim where you have a big map and then you can kind of zoom in and you can see here are the locations you can go to. Uh, and what I was playing around with is something like this. So I'm going to use Google Draw in order to make the overall image. Um, I haven't found anything that's really much much more useful than this. Um, and then I use the this um, free icons website. What is it called? Flat flaticon.com. And I found a bunch of different icons, and the icons are going to mean different things. And I told you this is a huge map, so you can zoom in, and it's actually quite big, um, which is kind of neat. Now. What I have done here in this Google Draw, what do I zoom out? There we go. Is drawn an invisible box around here, and it's going to link to um, a smaller version of this. So when the player, the student, clicks on it, Going to be able to zoom in, and you're going to see more detail. Now, these are just small icons which I've cut and paste. So, this will be the path. So, the, the student will start here, and I will have a link to a, a, a Google site where um, they'll get their non playable character. The NPC uh, will sort of walk them through uh, the start of the mission, and they're going to have different paths. So, each of these is going to be a different path that they can head to, and we'll have sort of like pieces that can kind of spring off of here. Uh, they can choose to go fight the, the dragon if they'd like. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to make this so that students will have to choose to either go solo or they can form little hunting parties. Um, when they click on these little rhombuses, this is going to uh, pop up with either the directions to prepare for the next thing. So when they get to the little village here, that'll be whatever the assignment is supposed to be, whatever skill they're going to have to demonstrate. Uh, so the steps along the path are going to be um, the little activities that are going to be necessary to prepare for that. 
these will be sort of our creative thinking options. So again, they're going to have choices. Um, in order to go fight the dragon, the dragons are going to be pretty powerful, so they're going to have to combine their superpowers in order to take it out. So uh, that, I think, might be better for a collaborative sort of hunting party activity. So the theme here will be sort of populism, the populist Granger movement. So these activities will be sort of tying in with that. What I found was that if I use Google Sites, that I can link the pages together and the students can still click on this, but they're not going to be able to change my page. Also, it's going to look a little bit sharper so that they don't have um, all of this stuff in the way. Uh, so I have been, I've been playing with this. This is the home page on the Google Sites. So it'll have this page here. And if I publish, well, I've already published this. But if I hit the um, triangle here and I view the published site, Here's our standard four quests, and this is the map that they'll be able to see. I think they can open this up in the drawing if they want, but they can also just click right on here. And it will take them to the other page. Uh, well, what I'm going to have them do is actually open up to um, the website. So it'll take them to uh, the website that I've created here. And made a little home page down here. So when they click on that, it'll take them back to the, the original page. So... Uh, this is all very early on. I'm figuring out the ins and outs and how I want the workflow to happen. And um, I'm, I'm excited about this, though. I, I, this is what I've been trying to figure out how to do for years. And that was build some sort of a, a Mario Brothers sort of central map, something like a, uh, I can't do like a full interactive uh, three-dimensional walk through the uh, the terrain kind of thing. I, I'm, I'm certainly not that skilled, but uh, this is giving me that feel of sort of the Super Mario Brothers map where uh, you have a couple of different choices, you have a couple of different options, uh, there there can be some bad guys in there. Uh, we can also hide Easter eggs by creating uh, a shape and kind of hiding a shape up here, just make it transparent. And then you can give it a a link and see where it goes from there. Uh, so you can hide stuff around the map as well as having the uh, the initial things. So as I get this more thought out and more developed, I, I, I'll add more to this little half-baked idea. But right now I have, the, I have the seeds. I have something I'm super excited about. And now all I want to do is play with this, even though I got so much other stuff I need to do and I have paperwork that needs to get done and grades are due tomorrow. And, um, all I want to do is, is play with this and get this ready. Uh, so I want to share it with you all. So I hope to hear from you. And if you have any ideas how I can make this even better, um, any other ideas of workflow or any ideas on how to uh, make this a better experience for the students, I'd love to hear that. Uh, give me a shout out. I'm at Mr. Powley on Twitter. Uh, you can leave a comment here. Uh, you can share and you can subscribe and you can like and all that fun stuff. And I I hope to hear more later. Thanks.